Just like that, I found myself floating high above the valley floor. An orange setting sun to the west, reflections off of the Great Salt Lake, and clear skies and mountain ranges for miles. This was my first time in an ultralight, and I loved it. And I'm going to bring all of you along for the ride. All right, everybody, we're out here at the sea base, and we're going to go take a flight in an ultralight. The uh, sea base has a lot of different activities going on. A lot of people come out here and rent the place for different kinds of events, parties, that kind of stuff. This is a group of people out here training other people in how to use the ultralights. And they offered to uh, take some of us out for a little flight this evening. And uh, all we had to do is pay them in beer. Should be fun. Hopefully I don't get airsick. Happens sometimes. All right, so this is what the machine looks like here. These are tandem ones, so two people, one's gonna ride in front, and uh, here's the chute. And this thing's pretty cool looking. This is the first time I've ever been around this. This is Carson right here. He's going to be our pilot today. So uh, how many horsepower are these engines? That is a fantastic question. <laughs> uh, 300 cc's. 300 cc's. 300 um, cc two stroke. Honestly, I wish I knew the spec on how much horsepower there was. Ah, okay. Enough. Uh huh. Enough. Yeah. Well, that's barely, all. Barely enough. Ah, okay. And then, so a unit like this, how much fuel does it hold? Let's see. This tank, I believe, is 17 liters. Yeah, it's about 16 liters. Nice. We'll run through that in probably about an hour. And now that I'm thinking about it, that'll give us a, a bit more than an hour of flight time, probably an hour and a half to two ah. with this motor. I probably ought to point out, sometimes I get air sick. How do you yeah. feel on roller coasters is my question. Roller coasters are fine. Uh, it's usually when I'm out halibut fishing up there in Cook Inlet. It usually takes about an hour or so of the up and down. So you're usually yeah. not on here long enough to be to the point where you're getting like seasickness kind of. Okay. But that does happen you can definitely mellow it out okay um, but if it doesn't happen we're gonna rip <laughs> all right now well, this looks interesting i'm looking forward to it but yeah i'm gonna let isabel go first okay uh, seems <laughs> like you're scared but i'll i'll just let it slide just a little apprehensive <laughs> okay. now it looks like it i've been watching you guys for the last few days and uh it looks really interesting I really appreciate the opportunity. Well, you never know. Might decide to love it and go after another hobby. <laughs> Launching and landing, your feet just stay on those pegs. If you were to step in front of them and your foot gets caught while we're rolling, that's going to really hurt. So <laughs> just do what you're doing. I mean, I don't know why you would take your feet off anyway. It's more comfortable no, to have them there. Like this. So you're good. Cool. You ready? All right, let's you do sure it. You trust me? Yeah, I trust you. I don't. <laughs> that's a joke for legal purposes. All right.
Oh uh, yeah, the wind's kind of shifted from uh, kind of the southwest, huh? Yep. Yep, so what happens is uh, the sun drives all, all weather, right? Basically at night, the south is higher and all the cold air is flowing downhill. So yeah. in the mornings we'll have a southern flow uh -huh. and then once the sun comes out, it heats up the ground, it'll switch and we'll always have a, not always, when it's normal weather patterns, we're gonna have wind coming from the north and then once that sun goes back down, all this mountain area starts cooling down again and that's called catabatic wind. Ah. The catabatic wind comes down off the mountains nice. and now we're getting that tailwind again. So, okay. so when it's coming down, it's catabatic. When it's going up, it's anabatic. So I'll have you go ahead and you can sit on in here. All you right. Just got these shoulder straps is off. All right. You got a phone. Uh, uh, she's got my phone, so yeah. I was gonna say you can carry it. I have mine in my pocket. I'm just conscious of where it's at. You got a strap that's in between your legs, hanging down right there. All right. Come up, you'll clip it in on both sides. Like that? Yep. Perfect. So all right. All in. Yep. Feet go there. Feet stay there on launch and landing. I mean, all you right. Can let them dangle, but there's no real reason to. Okay. This is an uncertified aircraft. This is an instructional flight. We're gonna have a great time while we're flying. I'll get us up to a safe altitude. I can hand you the brake toggles. If you pull right, we're gonna go right. If you pull left, we're gonna go left. Just be nice and smooth on those. Nice, smooth inputs. Anything jolty, well, you'll feel jolty. Okay, um, all right. I can reach up and kind of help you. Okay. Um, if we're doing something too wild. All right. Uh, don't be alarmed if I do reach up. I'm just okay. making sure we're all good. All right. Um, cool, we ready? I think so. All right, for the thumbnail, I'm gonna fist bump you. Ah, yes. Yeah. Okay, all right, you ready? Ah, okay. All right, what up? <laughs> Yeah, let's go. <laughs> nice. Cool. <laughs> Only semi-awkward for the video. We don't have enough runway to take off directly like he did. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight and then I'm gonna curve around the bushes and just go that way. We'll do a little bit of a crosswinder. All right. Sounds fun. Oh yeah. Uh, again, <laughs> if you're having fun, thumbs up. If you're not having fun, thumbs down. All right. If you wanna land, that's okay. We can come and land. Okay. Just like point down ah okay um, with your index finger we can that'll let me know or you can throw up um, <laughs> either one's a good indicator that you're not having a good time <laughs> okay yeah i should be all right so yeah i think you'll be fine i think you'll be surprised by how uh, smooth it is
This was a great experience with absolutely spectacular scenery and a perspective on the world that only flying can provide. Now I would definitely do this again and I would encourage other people to try this out. It was a lot of fun. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this adventure and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.